Hurare, Zimbabwe, Zimbabwe's president, promised a thunderous victory, and his main challenger told him bye-bye as they rallied supporters one last time ahead of Monday's election in a country seeking to move past decades of economic and political paralysis. The vote will be a first for the Southern African nation. Longtime leader Robert Mugabe won't be on the ballot after resigning in November following a military takeover and pressure from the ruling ZANU PF party that once backed him. The majority of Zimbabwe's 5 million voters grew up under Mugabe's 37 year rule. Supporters of Movement for Democratic Change Alliance leader and opposition presidential candidate Nelson Kamiza cheer. Kamiza, a rousing pastor and lawyer with little government experience, promised a convincing defeat of President Emerson Mnangagwa, Z-I-N-Y-A-N-G-E-A-U-N-T-O-N-Y-A-F-P, Getty Images, supporters of the 75-year-old President Emerson Mnangagwa, a former Mugabe deputy, and the 40-year-old Nelson Kamiza, the leader of the opposition MDC party, rallied on Saturday in Harare, the capital. A credible vote could help Zimbabwe to shed its longtime status as a global pariah and spur recovery for its collapsed economy, while a contentious election would prevent the lifting of years of international sanctions. We have opened the country to the world, Menangagwa declared Saturday, claiming that hundreds of investors had poured into the country since he took office with billions of dollars in commitments. Many in once prosperous Zimbabwe, however, have yet to see any effects as they continue to stand or sleep in long lines to access windling cash. Article continued below, allow him to finish the job he started, said one supporter of the president, Erika Chindoma, who like many was bussed in by the ruling party to attend the stadium rally under heavy security. Read more, we are not going to compromise, Zimbabwe's opposition party rallies against election fraud Zimbabwe's top opposition won't boycott vote despite Warishi Miza, a rousing pastor and lawyer with little government experience, promised a convincing defeat of Menangagwa, saying the president had done his part in helping to liberate Zimbabwe from white minority rule. Your time is up, he said. If we miss our opportunity on Monday we are doomed for life. In an interview with the Associated Press on Friday, Kamiza alleged that Zimbabwe's electoral commission is biased in favor of Menangagwa, which the president and the commission deny. Kamiza vowed to hold peaceful protests if the election is flawed. Past elections under Mugabe were marred by violence and intimidation against the opposition and by alleged vote rigging. Foreign observers were shunned. Article continued Bellow now Menangagwa, once Mugabe's enforcer, praises this beautiful democratic process and dozens of foreign observers have spread throughout the country, including teams from the United States, the European Union, the Commonwealth and the African Union. We are aware of the issues that have been raised by opposition parties, however we hope that the elections will be free and fair, U.S. Senator Jeff Flake told reporters on Saturday, Concerns have focused on the military's influence, especially in rural areas, and on the lack of transparency in the voters' roll and ballot paper. When asked whether Menangagwa is better than Mugabe, Flake replied, in no comment. That's pretty low bar, Menangagwa, himself remains under U.S. sanctions. Not everyone was joining Zimbabwe's election excitement. L will not waste my time queuing to vote. These politicians are all the same, they lie, said Jackson Mundopa, a 33-year-old who said he would use the extended weekend to visit family. Monday has been declared a national holiday, 